Hola a todos, bienvenidos a esta pequeñita serie del juego Life is Strange que me apetecía rejugarlo y he dicho, pues por qué no, vamos a hacerlo en directo aunque total, no me va a ver nadie, pero me apetece así que vamos a ello, espero que os guste Hola Leti, hola Pulpi. A ver si ¿sí está bien. Sí. Una serie de Silent Hill va a estar. No, espérate. Tengo que ponerlo bien. Eh, controles. Invertir el play. Sí. Una serie de Silent Hill va a estar completa. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Keep that. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And capture you in a moment of I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I do Isn't love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? 
L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Bueno, aquí los coleccionables son eh, fotos. Hay que ir haciendo fotos a diferentes cosas. Entonces, bueno, esta es la primera. A ver si me acuerdo dónde están todas. Pero bueno, a ver si las sacamos. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Empezamos fuertes, eh, Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. <laughs> entonces, entonces soy il 2.5 ahora mismo. <laughs> Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Ojo, evolucionado al 4.0. Cuidado, eh. <laughs> no, sería il 2.0 entonces. Eh, perdona, il 4.0 y Jeff 2.0. 
I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Ah, se me escucha bajo respecto a... Ah, bueno. That's Dana talking to us. I think it's... Que me subo eh, la voz y ya está. That's a ver si ahora algo más. I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They, I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Poor Dana, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I wish October would last forever. Girlfriend. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Don't eat a PC, missed the Poetry GM tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. That's when I As if I am. Good thing I left my AK at home. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. The Bigfoot Stomp. 
I should develop some school spirit. Go team. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. There's Juliet from my dorm, yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary, jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously, but otters are cute. Go otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. They do stomp. Names just good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <laughs> the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Que no sé la si había que hacerlo directamente. Vale, no. Había que ir primero. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a sí. gift. Al, al menos siempre lo parece que tiene más abusones. Pero... Fuck it. Imagino que, bueno, será como en todos lados, pero. Pero que siempre es el estereotipo de lo que parece closes, que están ahí. Cuando la ventana se abre, o algo así. Aunque bueno, tontos hay en okay, todos lados. Bro, así que, eh, entiendo que... Que... Ah, sí, Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? Le queda genial el pelo azul este. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. 
These pieces of time can frame us in our I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now shadow. Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example oh, of a man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane, Can I actually reverse time? Ago, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did it. Now, I actually did it. Of a photographer who perfectly captured the time machine. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't Diane, freak out. Arvis? Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture. When I took right? my selfie, Jefferson no, asked me a question. If he does again, I I'll know this is for real. Hola, Chiki. A selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre, around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely yeah, popular, uh... mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling.
Sí, sí. La última vez que jugué es que hace bastante tiempo. Me suena que sí que elegí eh, decir la verdad y ahora. Bueno. Vamos a. Vamos a ir un poco por ahí. A ver. Es que mentimos muy bien, eh, como puedes ver. I bet the Black Wolf founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. No me vale el WhatsApp. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Ojito. A ver, espérate. Esto, esto no puede quedar así. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. A ver, Brooke. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? That looks like a high-fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Typical. If you say one of the your drone, you have to fly it. Yes, yes, totally in the dark. Y nadie, y nadie la está viendo. Mira, esto es como Navi cuando va a buscar a Link. Pero sin chocarse. Excuse bueno, me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? 
David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace. Bueno, ¿qué hacemos? Firmamos la petición en contra de las cámaras o no? The Native Americans, the tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Ajá, o sea, eso quiere decir que sí, firmamos. ¿Y qué dice? Ah, pues muy bien. Pues mira, no lo voy a firmar. No lo voy a firmar. La última vez lo firmé. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. No, 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 no. Cago en la leche en el globo de botón. Bueno, pues nada. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. Bueno, voy a adelantar hasta volver a la decisión. Eh, bueno, vamos a decir que podría haber ayudado a Rachel. El diálogo. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max, and we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound. Bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it. A partir de aquí ya. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you... Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion. I'm not against security. Bueno, pues a ver qué tal. Sin firmar eso. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a trade flip, you should walk on. Madre mía, como con qué humito que está aquí todo el mundo. Ahora te voy a callar la boca. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a trade flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get yeah, Trevor yeah. all over that action. <laughs> you! Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Yo, Justin. Check out. I came. Oh, sick. Nah. Oh, 
Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Y vamos a retratarlo para que veamos lo tonto que es. Ah, y no podemos preguntarle si está bien. Bueno, pues, pues ahí te quedas, no nada. Tu, tu, tu. A ver, está por aquí. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I'm not sure yet. I mean, he's clearly a genius, but I don't agree with everything he says. He does get a bit pretentious, but he's passionate and just says what he thinks. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Y todo, que están aquí, aquí todas locas por el señor Jefferson. Ahora que lo dices. Now that you mention it. He doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. Sí, sí, eh? I saw her hanging with the Ahora other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Una chica repetida Bueno, más o menos What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max Could I um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Para para cuando lo vea esto Ney, este no está dibujando con el poder de la mente. Best portrait ever. Hombre, se supone que están en la universidad, en una universidad de artes, pues hombre, pues que menos que dejarse llevar un poco, ¿no? Clever. Vortex Club Sex. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. It'll happen. Karma doesn't play favorites. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Oh, oh, el vengador es más caro. Eh, no, no, no. I think his name is Evan. 
He always looks so intense. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Ah, con Dios. Eh, ¿Qué tenía que hacer? Ah, sí, era por el ser. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Eh, ahí, ¿dónde están las fotos? Aquí, va. No, a ver. Como algo roto, una ardilla. and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me. Sorry. Just... I really have to find out what happens. Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. <laughs> what a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Antes de hacer eso. ¿Quieres o no? Ahí está, aquí está. Esa, esa es la estrategia. Le partes la cara a Victoria y luego vuelves atrás y se la vuelves a partir. A ver. Mm. 
Nah, estas son las repelentes, hombre. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Okay, let's see if this works. Wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. Whoa. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Yeah. ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Somos unas perras o vamos a ser buenas? Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait, hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Okay. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Me parece terrible. ¿Qué quieres, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was, but there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie nice, that was mean but pretty funny oh. one one of those days, you know I know exactly what you mean Victoria I'll see you later au revoir no. Victoria probably played me I should have played her better get to my room before I find Warren Mírala, mírala, qué recochineo.
Welcome to Black Hill. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Red room. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Mm -hmm. Juliet, extreme reporter. Me ha parecido ver. No, no sé bien lo que pone. No, no lo teníamos, pero lo sabíamos. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. Empezamos and mal. slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Yo no entiendo por qué la madre quiere It's envenenar not exactly a Max, pretty and bueno. pink, but no shits are given. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Eh, no sé, no recuerdo que supiera tocar la guitarra. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed.
the Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my fr Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Sí, sí, that was a good hockey más. game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Looks like Dana left me a little poster note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. enviado un SMS You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh. Answer you, what? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana way. in the room because we're cool. <laughs> what did she do? What didn't she do? You Dana's been out. sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. 
According to Victoria... Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Estás diciendo que vamos a tener que entrar en la habitación de Victoria a, cu a cucharonear. ¿Qué tiene ahí escondida esta? Hombre. Hombre de cabeza. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. <laughs> ¿Les dejamos la foto de regalito o lo deshacemos? <risa> ¿Qué hacemos? <risa> es un patrón, es un patrón muy estudiado. No lo he hecho yo, lo ha hecho Max. Oh man, this is so wrong. I better find proof fast. Pues ahora. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Estoy contigo, Max. Es una peli muy buena. I no tiene nada que ver con Final Juliet Fantasy. Pero como peli está chula. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting-edge tech. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Joder, ya puede ser buena con 3500 pavos de, de impresora. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Boom! Oh, this is the out. email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. O sea, ahí. Le das a un botón y la impresora imprime directamente. Sin, sin tener que pelearte con ella. Esto sí que es ciencia ficción. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of 
course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Hey, Dana. Seriously, hey, thanks perfect. again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... That beat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. <laughs> pues Max haciendo de volume. <laughs> ¿Qué va a ser? Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. 
Now I have to finish this stupid book. Okay. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Nos metemos de por medio, hacemos la foto. ¿Qué hacemos? Creo que se puede luego retroceder y cambiar la decisión. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. Oh, pues I no, think you no scared him for once. Vaya. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should reward. Hemos encontrado al de seguridad pegándole la bronca a Kate. No se ha permitido a mí. Vale. Una caravana no puesta así. Ah, stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Who toilet papers a bike? Bueno, espérate, creo que no ha pasado nada. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard.
It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay lots. Sobre todo aquí, que hay poco sitio para, para maniobrar, claramente. La, vamos a ponerlo en los dos. ¡Uy! ¡Hola, perrete! That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close... Cujo. Hotel de esa música... Eh, creo que he visto Warren ahí en el coche, o sea que... Vamos a seguir por allá. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about sí. Zachary that way. Esas. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Y por eso Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. Yeah, You're on, on Max. Me parece que aquí soy la única capaz de ocuparme de él. Yo, Max, check it out. Look at Warren in his way back machine. He's a brave man. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Ryan. <laughs> but then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Oh, yo, 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 yo. You can draw? Celoso? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch. That sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. 
I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! <laughs> Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the now. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's me. Nobody! Bueno, Man, la que nos apartar, Nathan nos Prescott salvado. is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Sí, qué mala amiga soy. Me he ido, me he ido con Chloe y he dejado a Warren ahí en el suelo. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it in my place i need very specific tiny tools bird alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool welcome <laughs> home max
Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. Man, I remember this furniture. Oh. We had such a blast drawing these together. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Eh, pues no lo sé. Eh, se sigue viendo. Yo en principio no veo que haya habido ningún problema. Lista. A ver, sin electricidad, ¿cómo vamos a poner música? Bueno, voy a poner la música, pero antes ahí tengo que inspeccionar todo. Old cardboard boxes. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. Aquí no pasa nada. This looks like a laundry bag. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. Que evidentemente vamos a ver. Como por ejemplo para coger un disco. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. She, she, she. <laughs> so, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? 
Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Chloe's trash overfloweth. Who'd have thunk Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Así como aparca, pues colecciona multas. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Is this a desk or a storage space? Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. <laughs> anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Can you let me chillax for a bit? Alone? Egg. The tools are still downstairs. new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe. But here I am. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Nothing's changed. Except for me and Chloe. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Super cotilla, dice. Hola, Rich. React or Die, a 21st century survival guide. Whoa, apocalypse self-help. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. Oh my, Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. 
I see why she would keep it. Joy still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. Aquí llegamos al garaje. Vamos a tener que mirar mucha casa, ¿eh? Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Qué, qué bien se ve esta tele de tú. Vamos a encender la luz. I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Cereales, leche, crema de eh, mantequilla de cacahuete, chocolate, pastel, aceite de bananas y papel de abater. Bueno. Va a ser un menú particular. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. <laughs> Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. I guess they're aging these books. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. 
Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Quiero caminar. Vale, entonces ahora toca. Por si acaso, ¿no? I should be able to find the tools I need here. Qué lista, espérate. Te se apaga la luz esta. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes, score. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Hombre, teniendo en cuenta que al lado pone Posición de las cámaras. Ah. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Ah, coño, es verdad que es la casa, no me había dado cuenta. Que está tan bien definido. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Shit! Butterfingers! Yeah, Max. Oh, man. Vale. I'll always make them fall. A ver. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years.
Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Nothing. This is so lame. Boom. Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That does not look stable. <laughs> that was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. Mm -hmm. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there. Hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. 
Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Great one. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Cl Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? I'm sorry. Ali. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my black no scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Bang, um.
Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me, stare contest. Y se fue. Sí. <laughs> I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Después de dejarle aquí ahí tirado en medio del parque y él tan feliz. Birds are so lucky they can always escape. I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Catches? Será que no? Sí, aquí era. I got you. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. How long has that been here? You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. <laughs> what did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? 
There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He's so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcady Bay and turn it to fucking glass. seguir el Patronus de de, de Sniper de la firma
October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. We just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I... Right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Y se acabó el primer episodio. Vamos a ver la parte de las decisiones. Hemos ocultado la verdad. Hemos consolado a Victoria. Hemos intervenido para ayudar a Kate. Y hemos salido para intervenir en el escondite. Y había más, ¿no? Ah, sí. He dejado que Daniel me retratara. Ojo, pues no entiendo por qué la gente, casi la mayoría de gente no quiere. No he firmado la petición. He ayudado a Lisa. He borrado los insultos de la pizarra de Kate. Qué cabrón. He regado la planta. Bueno, eso de que no has tocado el test de embarazo de Dana. Bueno. Has reorganizado las fotos de Victoria. Y se lo hemos dejado de recuerdo. Hemos escrito en la autocaravana. Hemos salvado al pájaro, no has roto el globo de nieve, no he dejado pruebas y he leído los archivos de David. Bueno, dejamos la intro del siguiente episodio. Bueno, pues que no ha sido muy largo. 
Pues nada, hasta aquí el primer capítulo de Life is Strange. Seguiremos con el segundo, ya veremos eh, si mañana igual me animo y lo continúo o, o qué, ya lo vamos avisando. Así que nada, gracias a los que habéis pasado, Rich, Pulpi, Leti, Chiqui, Ney y... y nada, nos vemos en el próximo. Chao.